What is going on guys, Willis Gaming here and I'm back with another Daily Destiny video. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can traverse the abyss or do the lamp stage solo without doing any cheeses and it's really really simple. So if we can smash out a thousand likes on this video that would be insane. Just hit the like button, it takes two seconds. So this is going to come in really handy when the reset comes next week because as we know all of the cheeses in the Crota's End Raid are going to be patched. And people are going to be looking for ways to cheat the game. They're just too lazy to do it, the raid themselves. And uh, yeah, the raid's actually really easy. I don't understand why people need to cheese all the time. I know I cheese a lot, but mainly because I just need to get it done quick. And I, I just really can't be bothered wasting time. I'm sure some of you do this as well, but that's just my opinion. So, on to the video. Okay, first of all, obviously you will need to be a hunter. Unfortunately, sorry all you warlocks and titans. I am actually a warlock myself and I feel your pain. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need to be a blade dancer and you're going to need to have some invisibility perks. What I'm going to be using first is stalker. Gain invisibility after crouching. We all know that perk. And shadow jack. Increase the duration of invisibility effects. Make sure you have that on. And also you need to make sure you have escape artist on. Hitting an enemy with blink strife grants brief invisibility. And for your super make sure you have vanish. Press RT during arc blade to disappear from sight. This will come in extremely handy when we're going to be soloing it. Also the main 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 item you will need is the don't touch me gauntless. Zero was actually selling these uh, I think it was like last week or the week before. But it has a perk, when enemies hit you, you go invisible. Now I'm going to tell you this now, when the Thrall hits you, you will go invisible for 10 seconds. So literally you can see where this is going to go. Like, there's no cooldown on this either, you can just keep getting hit, invisible, hit, invisible, hit, invisible. And it's just so overpowered, I'm sure you've seen loads and loads of videos on this, but I thought I'd show you guys. So, let's see how it's done. So the first bit is pretty self-explanatory. I have a Mighty Multi-Tool with the Agility perk to make myself go a bit faster. So I'm actually quite ahead of all of the Thrall at the start. So as you can see, it's basically just run through the entire thing. As you get hit, you will go invisible and they're going to stay back where they hit you. So as you can see, I got hit. They're just all going to group up where I got hit. The one thing you got to be careful is, when there's a whole group running after you, like about 10 or 20, and they go to hit you, they're all gonna hit you at once. So make sure you're only getting hit by one at a time. So if you see like them all jumping at you and they're about to like scram you all at the same time, get out the way or clear a few of them out with your gun. You can go invisible again, you don't need to worry. As long as you have your blink strike up, you can just go invisible. If you think there's way too many, just clear them out with your rock launcher or whatever you have. But like I said, there is no cooldown on the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets. So you can keep getting hit over and over again. Each melee attack will make you go invisible. And obviously this is just OP as hell. So I'm just going to skip ahead here to the main part, which is actually the hardest part. So once you're finished running through the entire thing and you get to the last plate, uh, there'll be a bunch of Thrall behind you. Get them all grouped up and make sure all the ones that are following you are dead. So just get a rock launcher and kill them all. Next, this is just my strategy, but you can do whatever you want. I normally crouch by here and then sit like this behind this little rock like so. Sometimes the enemies will actually get glitched out and they can actually fall off the edge. But you need to be careful of the knights which spawn. So as you can see, the cursed thrall are basically going to one-shot you if a thrall manages to get a hit on you. So be careful of them. So as you can see, as soon as I come out that little bit by there, I'm actually going to activate my super and go into vanish. And as you can see, just as I have a tiny bit amount of my super left, I go vanish and I go invisible again. And I actually crouch behind this little wall by here, which makes me go invisible. So, like I said, you can just use everything you can to go invisible. Hunters have so many abilities to turn themselves invisible. And especially with Shadow Jack, you can just freaking go invisible for like 10 hours. And it's just insane. I got super lucky here. I actually blinked onto the bridge. Just as I was about to get killed, I was going to risk it, but oh well, I just freaking did it anyway. But as you can see, that's how to solo the lamp stage without cheesing. No cheeses involved. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if we could smash out a thousand likes on this video, I will do a freaking triple backflip into a pool of freaking mayonnaise. And that would just be awesome. So, on to the shout out of the day. The shout I get from last video goes to XX times XX. He said, what did the fallen captain say to the guardian? Catch me if you can. So if you're new to my videos, I do a shout out every video. Or if you get a chance to win a shout out next video, leave a like and a random comment down below. Comment down below something Destiny related and who knows if it makes me laugh, I might choose it for my next video. So this has been Willis Gaming guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.